Welcome to Counterpunch. Today's topic, what caused the problems in our healthcare system? Let's be clear on this. Our system for medical treatment isn't broken. Nobody is denied medical treatment when they need it, and we have a degree of access to high-quality medical care that is unheard of in most countries. Where else can a doctor decide today that his patient needs an MRI and have that patient undergo the test within the week? Yes, medical treatment is expensive, but that's mostly because we demand and receive that high level of treatment. The problems with our health insurance system have mostly arisen directly from government meddling in the free market. Despite the fact that Americans have proven quite capable of obtaining auto insurance, dental insurance, homeowners insurance, and life insurance through the free market system, government has decided that we need their help with health insurance, and our current problems stem from there. We get our insurance from our employers because federal law gives them a tax break that individuals who buy their own don't get. We can't buy across state lines because federal law won't let us, and so forth. The problems with our health insurance system have mostly arisen from government regulations, and there is no reason to think that more government regulations will fix what they themselves broke. For Politics Alabama, I am Matthew Givens. Health care costs too much and not enough people can get it. Notice I said care, not coverage. We should be talking about getting health care for everyone, not health insurance. In World War II, employer-based health insurance was a way to reward employees in spite of wage controls. It was popular. Then the cost became tax deductible and the idea really took off. Soon the focus was on providing insurance, not care. And decisions were being influenced by bean counters, not just patients and doctors. We ended up with a fragmented, inefficient system with layers and layers of bureaucracy. Cost controls virtually impossible. Those who need insurance most can't get it, and sickness is a profit center every step of the way. Drugs, tests, treatment, equipment, nobody profits if you're well. The system is profit-driven, not results-driven. Some form of single-payer universal coverage is the only way to cure the real systemic problem, but the status quo hates that idea. For Left in Alabama, this is Sherry Walker. Produced by Politics Alabama. Online at politicsalabama.blogspot.com.